Oh man, I already see mistakes. <laughs> Hey, being on a budget isn't such a bad thing. It's okay if you don't have a lot of money. I know in my 20s and even into my 30s, I was pretty much broke, but I got crafty, I got creative, I learned how to do things. I wanna show you something really cool that is an amazing space for under $500. So if you're on a budget, if you're a DIYer, and you're looking to spruce up a section of your yard and make it something that you can enjoy with your family, this is a good one. We are going to go through proper insulation techniques when you are doing this. I'm gonna tell you where to source the materials and we know how much it costs, under 500 bucks. Amazing. And then finally, stick around to the end because I have an announcement. Uh, this is something I'm very excited. I've been stewing on it for about three years. All right, this video is about a minute and a half. There's a before, there's the after, there's the space. We're gonna look at this easy DIY patio, right? Okay. Getting everything laid out, taking out the side, tamping, compacting. All these principles are there, but there are certain tweaks that I'm gonna share with you that are gonna make a difference. I don't know if I've shared this sporadically throughout the videos, but if you've been watching for a while, you probably know if you're new, welcome. Um, I was an installer for like 15 years. So yes, I'm a general contractor and a designer now and I run lots of projects, but I did a lot of this kind of work. And I can tell you some of the techniques in here have shifted over the last couple of years to uh, some of those little secrets that I'm gonna make sure that the integrity and the product that you put in, if you consider doing this, are gonna last. So let's get right in there, see the final product. Then I'm gonna start breaking this down and giving you out all the tips. I already see mistakes. <laughs> like, they're trying. That's okay. We try. That's how you learn, man. That's how you learn. Okay. Got the before, got the after. What a nice little cozy spot. That's right. Enjoy the fruits of your labor. The first thing you want to do when you are installing a patio is you do want to set up some string lines. You do want to see where the level is. Luckily, they have a very flat space. There's no retaining walls or grading issues that we got to deal with. So you're going to take out the soil. You want to dig down, I'd say about eight inches. Then you're going to put a compacted base of about four to six inches of minus, or you can do clean rock. That's kind of a new school thing that's going on. Well, it's been around, but I would see more and more of my contractors are using a clean rock. And then instead of bedding sand, which I think is a big miss and a mistake nowadays, use 3 8 inch clean or screenings. It's just, it's not gonna shift around as much. When you start to see, if you really look closely, let's let this thing go a little. All right, they're putting down some fabric, great. They're compacting. This is what I'm talking about as far as the screenings, but they're using that as actually their base. I would put a thicker, bigger one inch minus or clean down in place of this and then put this on top. You put in your poles, you screen, the screenings, not bedding sand like they're doing right now, don't use that. I mean, I'm telling you, it's just over time, it's gonna shift and move. You start to see when this guy puts down the pavers, up, uh, boom, look at that right there where his hand was. He didn't have his hand on the outside and put that down flush. What do you think is gonna happen with this little area right here? Now he may come back through. If you have a trowel, a trowel is a great thing. Make sure that space is filled in because all of a sudden it's gonna move, things are gonna shift, the pavers are gonna move around. This is how you start to get dips and doodles and all that stuff in there. Okay, so now they're doing the polymeric sand. They're sweeping it in between the joints. That is great. Here's a miss that I saw on this. I understand that not everybody has a plate compactor, but you do wanna tamp and compact your polymeric sand in between the joints to really get it settled in there and lock in. And then you're going to blow everything off. And the reason you'll see this guy come in here and blow everything off, all right, he's tamping on the edges, but you need to tamp everywhere. See how he's blowing everything off? It's because polymeric sand is really sticky. And if you just all of a sudden got the hose out and you sprayed it, because when you spray it, the polymers are gonna crystallize and that's how everything locks together and hardens, 
it's gonna stick all over the pavers. So you wanna get the pavers nice and clean and gently blow off the excess like he's doing. So he's doing that properly. Now they're spraying down, you wanna soak it down really, really well, let it sink in and then do it again. You're gonna do it a couple of times so that it's nice and neat and tidy. And then boom, all of a sudden you got a beautiful product. Now here's the thing, you're saying 500 bucks, what are you talking about? The sand, the minus, all these different materials, that might be less than $200, very true. But what else do we have on here? Furniture, little table, little plants. All this stuff is probably about 300 bucks would be my guess. Great places to get all this stuff. Lowe's is a good spot, Home Depot, big box stores for these type of material, these type of pavers, you can get all this stuff. A material supply store, that's for your hardscaping material. A great place to get all this furniture. Amazon could be a great space, Wayfair, Walmart, Sam's. At Home is a great place here in St. Louis. You can get lots of really big pots and plants. What you wanna do is you wanna do research. You wanna source these things and you wanna make sure that you are doing your investigating. But I'll tell you, you go to the big box stores for things like this and then for the furniture, you can look elsewhere. You are going to have a beautiful product just like this. All right, it is announcement time. I am really excited about this because the best ideas come from you guys. And this was something that came in the comments where someone had given me some advice and said, hey, you know, not everybody can afford a consultation or a design, but we need your help. I get lots of comments. I get lots of emails with people who want help, but they just can't pull the trigger on the design. Well, I got you covered now. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna come out with a five part series called Bobby Help Me Now, where you are going to send me a picture of a space that you are having trouble with. I'm here as a resource. I wanna help you guys, I really do. So this is how I'm gonna do it for free. Here's how you qualify. I want you to like the video. I want you to throw a comment down there. And then in the description, you'll see my email. Send me a quick email. This is my YouTube handle so I can see that you commented and you qualify. You can send me a picture and I'm gonna go through all these and I'm gonna select them based on different topics that I feel the majority of you could have trouble with and I wanna help you. These are things I struggled with in the past. And we're gonna start this series pretty soon, so stay tuned. This is Bobby K saying creation is everything, so go out and create. Watch some more videos, guys. Love you.